Yo, we are The Crane Couple and we are back with yet another Japan Crate review and unboxing video. Yes, guys, this video is extra special because da, 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 da. it is the fifth year anniversary crate. It's so <laughs> cool. It's very gold. It's very fancy. And of course, it's filled with tons of delicious Japanese food, candy, sweets, treats, you name it. But first off, we'd like to thank Japan Crate for providing us with this anniversary crate as well as... Da, 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 da. Yes, it's not just one, but two reviews in one video. We also have September's Kira Kira Crate, which yeah. promises lots of cool Asian cosmetics, makeup, beauty products. For me, personally, I like food. I like snacks. <sighs> I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> if you like candy, comment below. Thanks again to Japan Crate for providing us with these crates for us to do an honest and thorough opinion and review of these crates. Yes, we love Japanese stuff. I mean, if yes. you're watching this, you know we've been to Japan a few times. Come on. And loved every single trip, so <laughs> it's cool to be able to get a slice of Japan straight to your door. Unfortunately, the fifth anniversary crate has been sold out for a while, but you can yes. pick up a different Japan crate of your own by checking out our affiliate link in the video description below. It does help us out a little bit, so feel free to check out Japan Crate's selection of products, all right? Yeah. Well, it is a special anniversary crate, so we should start with it, right? Yeah. Why not? Plus, I'm getting a little hungry. We need snacks. I'm a little hungry. So snacks. Let's get into this. Da, 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 da. That's a lot of stuff. Oh my god. That is a lot of stuff. What should we start with? Well, first of all, we have a little pamphlet. Of course. A little info pamphlet, so it gives you an idea of what's inside the crate. All right, well, it's going to be a good reference because the products are Japanese, mm -hmm. which means a lot of Japanese writing. So where should we begin, Brittany? It's a blue penguin candy. It looks actually like a fuchu. It, it looks like little mochis because it's got the little oh. um, toothpick. Well, it definitely looks like candy. Yes. Uh, you want to give it a shot, Brittany? Oh, gosh. Oh, it's it's the, a little... The plastic is on is a little thin, so I have to hold it. Ta-da! I keep thinking it's going to taste like mint. Oh, I don't want that. No, it's supposed to be a soda, right? Yep, it's soda flavored. Oh, mm -hmm. like kind of like ramune or something like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Very, very light. Mm, but... Mild flavors. Well, that is Japanese treats and snacks in general kind of mild compared to their american counterparts but tastes pretty good though good awesome <laughs> next up we've got sour paper what? oh yeah it does say sour paper <laughs> what is sour paper and it's got peaches on it so i guess it's peach flavor popular candy described as paper for its special thin texture and it tastes like peaches with a sour twist if it's paper it should be flat not twisted well <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want this. Oh, I picked a good it's one. It's like a fruit strip. Yeah. Like you go to those candy stores and I, they get like those rolls. And I stuff. was thinking actual paper. I mean, I like that name more than like just like fruit roll or whatever. I'd rather, sour belt. I'd rather it be sour belt. Yeah, it's a peach sour belt, is what it is. It's funny. And thick. Yeah, like it's definitely, wide. it's kind of thick compared to the American <laughs> stuff. It's actually I thought little, you were just going to bite it. Well, I don't know if I want to have all of it. No, just take a small bite. This is a small bite. <laughs> I should have really good. It's not bad, but I don't care for peach. And I just found this out. What's wrong with it? I like it. I also don't like the flavor. Oh. It's good, though. If you like peach. Yeah. That's definitely a good one. Any other flavor, honestly, I'd probably really, really love this. I will still eat it. I wish we knew about this when we were in Japan. Yes. Because then we could have some snacks when we, we were walking around instead yes. of using potato chips. <laughs> Now we can go to the stores and go, I know, this candy and this candy and this candy. Yes, I'll have the paper. <laughs> this guy. Because it's bright yellow and it's got a skeleton on it. Electric gum. Hmm. So it's shocking. That's why he's like crazy. Is it going to be like a... Uh, is it going to be like sour or something? It's an energy drink flavor. So it's not just soda flavor anymore energy drink i don't know how to feel about that i don't really drink energy drinks i don't either i mean I, I consume plenty of caffeine don't get me wrong just looks like a regular chewy gum yeah it looks like a gum i don't really get energy drink i just get like sugar it's not sweet tarts it's smarties american smarties you know the powder the powder candies that doesn't sound anything like an energy drink yeah the flavor kind of energizes your mouth like 
I feel like my mouth's like, woo! Maybe there is energy drink in here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. my mouth feels funny now. I'm, just, I'm kind of scared you got this like crazy look in your eye. <laughs> More candy! <laughs> Next up, we've got... Da, 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 da. Cider. It's a cider gummy. It doesn't look like much, if I'm honest. It's kind of plain looking. I, I like the if, packaging, but the candy does not look very appealing. No, it's kind of this odd gray brown. <laughs> it's a sour cider gummy. It's just a gummy that tastes like soda. I like soda. Yeah. I like gummy. Oh, I think it got squished, but I think it was supposed to look like a bottle of soda. You see how it's darker on the bottom and then lighter at the top? <laughs> it, it, it's vaguely like a uh, soda bottle. <laughs> it came a long way, guys. I mean, it traveled from Japan straight to yes. our front door. And it's been a hot summer. Does it taste good? <laughs> Would you rather have the other soda gummies? I'm not sure what to think about that. Really? I don't know if I like that. It's kind of soda, but it's not cola. It's definitely not cola. Diet cola. No, it's not even that. <laughs> <laughs> I might pass on the cider gummy. I've had some other like cider candy, mm. but I think they tasted better than this one. This one's a little, it was a little tough and yeah. it was kind of odd, kind of sweet. Oh. Like it like was trending towards like really sweet and then not really. And it almost gave me kind of a uh, in-between of, let's say, ramen and then mouthwash. No. Depending on, like, like what stage I was chew? at chewing. Oh. So, yeah. Next. <laughs> this one. Oh. Hey, that's very bright and very red. Bam. I was going to say it was a high chew just because the font looks so... Familiar. Oh, it does. Red Gaburichu. Super Juicy Chewy Stick is a refreshing Fuji apple flavor. Chewy Stick. Wow, that is super apple flavor smell. It smells like an apple. That is potent. It looks kind of like a taffy. Yeah, that's taffy. It's like hard chewy. Mm. Like it takes a little bit for it to start kind of chewy. The smell is a lot stronger than the taste. It actually tastes really good. It's been kind of a theme with like previous candies that we tried out from these crates. But that's good though. Yeah, this tastes is good. pretty good. It's funny because you're not normally an apple person. No, it's pretty good flavor though. I'm going to pick out this big box. That's very interesting. <laughs> mochi mochi chocolate mints. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, these delicious treats mix the luxurious taste of truffle chocolate with the Japan taste of mochi. So it's chocolate mochi with mint in the middle. I'm not a huge, like, mint person. If you guys have <laughs> watched the I. previous, uh... It's definitely a cute packaging. Yes, it's very, a fun box. Very eye-catching. Cute! It's Whoa. a little package Whoa. set. It's a little beat up, but, yeah, it's... It's like a little set of four. And even though it's been a little squished up because, well, it, it went through a lot to get to us from Japan. Yep. Uh, it still looks... It looks fine. You get a little stick. I get a stick? Yeah, because it's like mochi. Oh, Yee. my stick. And here's... Uh, and it's just the safe... Oh, I guess it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> ...thing to keep it so good. Way it's not gonna be... So it's good. So it's good. So it's it's good. a good food it's package. It's a good package. Not anymore, because it's on the floor. <laughs> it's on the floor. <laughs> oh, it's a big... Boy. Oh, it's cute. It is actually kind of cute. It doesn't look like much on camera. It looks like a poop. It definitely doesn't look like much on camera <laughs> now. Oh, that's mint. That's I smell very minty. slight hint of chocolate. Hopefully. Mouthful of mint. I didn't really appreciate some of the mint stuff that was in the <laughs> other box. Oh, it's got that mochi texture, that's for sure. The mochi outside's good. <laughs> Does it taste like chocolate? Yeah. Oh. Like a very light chocolate. That mint inside, though. I just... Is it a lot? Oh. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No. No. Too much mint, right? I taste nothing for the mochi outside and all mint. If you like mint, you are gonna love this. If you're not a fan of mint, you should probably pass. <laughs> I just ate toothpaste. 
What's next, Brittany? All right, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Because hmm. it's got a cute little old man on it. It looks just like me. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's a roll cake buttercream. Mmm, now this is more my style. Yeah, it's a fluffy roll cake filled with fragrant and sweet buttercream. You got lucky. I like this one. Why do I have to eat the weird chocolate mochi mint thing? I pick, you picked it up. <sighs> oh, that smells. It smell. smells so that smell good. good. Okay. Mm, All right. It smells like little cake heaven. I'm, I'm coming around on this. Insanely fragrant. It is very like, like a sweet bakery smell. I will say, hmm. I'm used to the buttercream being a little sweeter. I feel like you could say that for most of your reviews. Uh, I like sweet, okay? <laughs> I know the Japanese don't really care for super sweet. Uh, I'm just hassling you, but yes, yes. I just, I wish the cream was just slightly sweeter, so it was like more of like a dessert. It tastes good to me. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. just a cake with some cream in the middle. It's like one of the best smelling treats I've ever opened up. This is the best. Yeah. I love this one. Pack it up. Yep, we're done. Best of the box. This is great. Still lots of stuff left in this crate, yes. The anniversary crate, they definitely did not pull any punches uh -oh. here. We barely even scratched the surface. We're trying to go, guys. We got a lot <laughs> of things to try. It looks cold. It looks like the the little gummies that I had at the beginning. It's a super cool bubble gum. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Um. Oh. Whoa, it's, it's, it just like breaks apart. Uh, I, I think it may have gotten damaged slightly in shipping. Oh. It got a little squished between all the other treats. Everything is squished. It's very white. It looks like snow or like shaved ice. That's pretty good. Yeah. Mm. Mild, refreshing burst. Oh. Mm. Okay, you can stop bursting my mouth now. Is it just like... It's like every cool, chew. Cool, 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 cool. I say that's going to be really good if you got a hot day. All right, we got to test it. That's not hard. Every day has been hot here in <laughs> yes. San Diego. Pretty good, though. I actually like that. Nice. Yeah. Gonna go with this one. Ooh, it's is got that... a cute little bear on it. It's like some kind of gummy. Koguma gummy. Yep, they're little gummy bears. Perfect. Oh, nice the orange one. I love these. Ooh, it's cute. He's a little chubster. <laughs> He's got a little extra gummy on him. <laughs> that's for sure. Tastes like orange gummy. Perfect. There's... I couldn't ask for anything it, else from it's a gummy. It's an orange gummy bear. <laughs> it tastes good. It's everything it claims to be, and nothing it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's a gummy. I like these. This little guy right here. Oh, it's cute. It's very cute. Oh, it's tiny. They look like little specks. Little it's specks? It's like rock candy almost. Hoshinokuni Mitsuketa candy. Interesting. Traditional Japanese sweet with a taste similar to rock candy. I mean, it definitely looks like rock candy. Yeah. Super baby sized ones. Oh, they're cute. Oh, they're super. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I don't even have big hands. I think these are the same kind of candies that we see at like souvenir shops and stuff. Oh. So if it's like rock candy, it should just be like sugar. Sugar. <laughs> it's good. It's simple. You know, I mean, it's, it's nothing fancy. You but can't go wrong with sugar. Is that the point of candy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I actually like that. Nice. It's like, it's sweet, but not like super sweet. Yeah. I'm gonna be here a while. Really? It's rock candy. Can you bite it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh. Sugar. It's a lot of sugar inside <laughs> that rock right there. That was pretty good though. Nice. Mm, I have another. A little... Pikachu uh, candy! Is that gum? It's in like a foil wrapper or something. It's probably gum. Pokemon apple gum. So it's juicy green apple flavor. Ooh, I like green Covered apple very much. By a Pikachu wrapper. Hmm. I mean, it's Pokemon stuff, right? Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, cute. It is like double. Oh, so we could both have one if yeah. we want. Yeah, I don't know why there's paper on it, though. Is that <laughs> like the save for later one? Um, actually, it's got a little like lottery thing on it. Oh, it's a lottery. Mm hmm. Because it says Hazare, which means not a winner. No! Zanen so. desu. <laughs> which also means that's it's too bad. Sorry, Brittany, you're not a winner. I mean, I don't know what I would do if I was a winner. Uh, hello? Uh, I got this. <laughs> Japan Crate Help! Can I have it? <laughs> you did get yourself some delicious Whoa! green apple candy, though. See, it's like bumpy. It's mm. so funny. It's all right. Strong flavor? No, it's, mild. it's pretty mild, but oh. it's very green apple. You're not really a green apple person? I like the taste of the, the other apple chewy stick better. 
Your face said it all. But it's still good. Mm. It's nice and sweet, which I like. And it's got Pikachu on it. Double bonus right there. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of the little stuff out of the way. There's still plenty of big items in here. Yeah. One of the things... Doesn't really look like candy, though. <laughs> One of these is not like the other. Definitely not. <laughs> um, Metamon Shiru. Uh, it looks like tattoos. Temporary tattoos. Yeah. Metamon Seal. Food and fun all in one. Each pack comes with lots of mini ramen candies and surprise tattoos. Wow, interesting. Tattoos! I would say some of them are very, very strange. Like the one with the yes, eyeball on there. Yes, the eyeball. I like the cute little bat, though. Oh, it's adorable. There, there's a little skull that says death. <laughs> I want that one. That's a little, uh, a little extreme right there. I love there. it because it's <laughs> surprise. Little beads. Pellets of candy. It's yeah, they're ramen flavored. Mm, delicious. Well, we know what ramen tastes yes. like. Yes. But what do tattoos taste like? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we've got. <laughs> These crazy looking alien guys. Oh, they're cute. Look at those guys. This is great. Look at them. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, yeah, we got cool aliens. We got UFOs. Yes. All right. Well, they got a lot of eyeballs. He's got his eye on us. I really like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Darn, I want the death tattoo. <laughs> I wanted the weird eyeball, guys. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the, the no, little the alien aliens dude. Are cool. They look neat. It's cute. I oh. like fake tattoos. Yeah, they're fun, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like they were so much bigger of a deal when we were, we were <clears throat> when we were younger, but nowadays it's like kids don't appreciate temporary tattoos. Temporary tattoos, man. <sighs> this guy. The bird looks familiar. Is that a chocolate ball stuff? It looks like grape pie chew too, because that's normally what the packaging looks like for that. Is that like a grape chocolate ball? Grape pie chew choco ball. Okay. The collab I never knew existed. <laughs> Choco Ball and Haichu are two of the most famous and tasty Japanese candies. This special collaboration provides the best of both worlds. A delicious Haichu grape flavored Choco Ball. I don't know how to feel about this. So I like Haichu. Grape chocolate? Why did I pick this one? I mean, I didn't make you, but you did. <laughs> It's got a cute little maze on it. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh. Ah, little games. You pop that up. Oh, oh fancy. Okay, so pull this open and then pop this up and bam. Fancy candy. That's it's a little uh, poop. Mm. Why is everything poop with you? <laughs> yeah, it smells like grape. By all means, Brittany, have it. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. It's like white chocolate flavored with grape. Harder white chocolate sugary inside. So it's supposed to like mimic a haichu, but as a chocoball. Grape white chocolate is not, it's you, not good. You don't even like white chocolate to begin I with. I don't so. like white chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a like a really funny aftertaste. Oh. Yeah. That's the thing that's getting me. It was kind of like, okay. The first bite is all right, but as soon as you start chewing it more, not having it. No, no. it's got a really funny aftertaste. <laughs> this is this is not the collaboration that we want. At least it's a cute. Box. It is super cute. cute and it's packaging. got a cute little maze and a cute way to open it. I'll have the high chew with some choco ball later. With some space in between, you don't want to mix the <laughs> the fruitiness and the, <laughs> the, the no. chocolate. Speaking of collabs, we've got another. But in reverse, <laughs> it's a Choco Ball Haichu. Yep. So the other one is a Haichu Choco Ball. And then this one is... Oh, there's two flavors right here. Yeah. You can kind of read in the katakana. Cho there's chocolate with a caramel inside. And then that one looks like a strawberry with chocolate inside. Yep. And it actually says this pack includes a mix of chocolate, caramel, and strawberry chocolate Haichu. I didn't even need you, pamphlet. I can read <laughs> like kindergarten level. I'm guessing it will taste more like a Tootsie Roll. Only one way to find out. All right. Let's go. Well, would you like to have one and I'll have the other? Yeah. What better way to get the taste of high chew chocoball out than with a chocoball high chew? 
That sounds perfect. That's a tongue twister right there. I had to think <laughs> yeah, really better. hard. I had to focus to say <laughs> that line, guys. Uh, none of this is scripted, by the way. <laughs> I had to think that up right then and there. But here is, I believe this is the chocolate caramel one. All right. Wow, that smells like way crazy like caramel. <laughs> it's poking my nose. <laughs> <laughs> you just rammed. Tootsie roll. It tastes like a strawberry high chew with like a little bit of a tootsie roll inside. It's super familiar tasting until you get to that center. And then it's kind of odd at first, but then it blends together and it becomes pretty good. It tastes good at the beginning because you get like a chocolate bite and then a caramel bite and mm. then a chocolate bite and a caramel bite. Mm. But then it mixes together and it's strictly caramel. Mm. And I'm sad because I like chocolate more than caramel. It's not bad though. So the Chocobo High Chew, in our opinion, is much better than the high chew chocobo. Good. Good luck remembering all that, guys. <laughs> but in case you're at the grocery store, do you see the two? This one. Ooh, big boy. Feel aloha. Wow, so much English. <laughs> yeah, right? Feel aloha, mango and butter. Oh, that's not good for you, Brittany. <laughs> I absolutely love mango. Maybe I should have picked this one because I actually like mango a lot. <laughs> Sounds weird. I like butter, I guess. I mean, who doesn't, right? I mean, I don't eat like a stick of butter, but... I mean, I've, I've had deep fried butter at the fair. Yeah, no, I've done it. Like, they don't have like... I thought it was gonna be like a big, strong, like, mango flavor. The little mango. Like, there's a smell, but it smells... Ah. Like, it reminds me of like, more, like, flat. Yeah, kinda. Enjoy. I smell butter now. That, that's the stale flavor I'm smelling. Mm. I mean, I would buy them. But they're all right. Really? Yeah, I was worried they're gonna have a very, very strong mango taste, but it's very light. I gotta say, the smell is a little, it's a little funny. It's a yes. little funny. I think it's just a combination because it's got that kind of like lightly sweet smell, then with like the butter smell. That was a very strong butter taste that I just had. Oh. I mean, if you like mango, you'd probably like it even more. Yeah. But I, I honestly, I taste more butter than I do mango. I mean, maybe that's for the best, yeah. right? I mean, they are chips. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. Well, there are actually more chips. This is an interesting one. I'm glad I got the other one. Uni flavored potato chips. If you don't know what uni is. It's sea urchin. Yes. I, I've actually had like fresh sea urchin. It's actually pretty good. Once you get past looking at the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, it doesn't look very good. Uh, I, I gotta say, one of the main components of uni is that it's very salty. Oh. So maybe it's just a salty potato chip. I mean, I'd be okay with that. I like salt. I'm worried about the smell though. <laughs> oh no. Mm. I smell that one lightly, Brittany. <laughs> I'm glad I picked the other chips. <laughs> it kind of smells like those shrimp chips. You know, those funny like but worse. shrimp chips. Way more pungent. Like, more rank it up to 11. More guys. seafoody. It oh, smells yeah. like stale seafood smell. It gets a lot more potent as you open the bag up more. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're releasing the smell. I'm glad it's not strong enough that I can just be like, oh, yeah, so I can smell all the way here. Yeah. No, stop doing that. I'm just, I'm trying to, like, get some ah. airflow through oh, the chips oh. so that way I'm ready to eat <laughs> them properly. You gotta aerate the chips. <laughs> it's like aerating a wine. Yeah. But it might taste better than it smells. It tastes pretty good. Really? Yeah. Does it taste like seafood or anything? I'm not tricking you. It, it just tastes like a chip. Oh, have it. Oh yeah, give me the bigger chip. Oh, it's around the same size. <laughs> Brittany processing it. No, there's like a, it's like a hint. It's definitely not as strong as that smell, but there's I could, it was a hint. And right, it's like just it enough that end. it's like, at least on the initial like bites, it doesn't really taste any different from a regular chip. I, I do think that there is a little aftertaste. It is hard to explain. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's like kind strange. of like like if and maybe it's because I'm thinking about what it is, but it's like a very like faint seafoody smell or taste. I guess. Although I kind of feel like if you blindfolded someone and you gave them these chips. They probably wouldn't tell you that it was uni. No, no, no. They definitely wouldn't know that it would be sea urchin at all. I don't think I've had enough sea urchin to be able to I mean, I've never even it. had it. But, but um, they're not bad. They're kind of odd. The flavoring is not good. It's more intimidating than it actually tastes. 
What else we got, Brittany? We got... Bam! Ooh. A whole bag of Kit Kats. Now this, this I like. Yeah. I love me some Kit Kats. And if you're not familiar with Japanese Kit Kats, they got a lot of crazy flavors over in Japan. Yes. We've seen, there's the typical stuff that you can get stateside, like green tea and all that stuff. But they've got some oddball stuff for sure overseas. Well, this one is a very special edition looking one, huh? Yes, it actually says in the pamphlet, bonus. Ooh. Frozen strawberry cheesecake Kit Kats. Hmm. It actually recommends that you freeze them so it tastes more like a strawberry cheesecake ice cream. It smells very berry. It almost smells more like a raspberry kind of scent. Yeah. Yeah. Looks pretty good. At least slightly melty, but actually it's not fine. too bad. It's been pretty hot oh. in San Diego. It's got pink layers inside. Oh, fancy. Oh, it does smell like strawberry ice cream. Oh. Yeah. That it's, smells it's, good. It smells like strawberry ice cream. That smells really good, guys. Yeah. Well, mm. I mean, there's two, so. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. My dears. I'm not big on strawberry, but. It's really good. Mm. It's like it a is. sweet strawberry. It basically makes it like strawberry cream. Uh, yeah. See, so it's like strawberries and cream. Yeah. I think that's what you're trying to say. Strawberries and cream. Yeah. Yes. It's just, it's just straight up like really tasty. It's really smooth. Maybe that we should uh, not bad. Should pick up some more Japanese Kit Kats, huh? Yeah. What do you guys think? Maybe we'll uh, show some off in a future video or two. Hmm? Go ahead and let us know in the comment section below. It's in the top three. Yes. Easily. Mm -hmm. Easily. Mm. That is good. And the last, but certainly not least, food item in the Japan Crate 5th Anniversary Crate is... Da, 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 da. Japan Cola Pepsi Pineapple Flavor. <laughs> They're just coming up with all these flavors that you don't enjoy, Brittany. I don't like pineapple. <laughs> I actually, I, I think pineapple is okay. I don't know how I feel about it being in a cola. But yeah. I am definitely willing to give it a shot. Now, they do love to experiment. I mean, it looks nice. Look at that cool like, packaging and stuff. Is really, I know. It, really, I will like, say, it. it makes you really thirsty. It makes me want to drink it. It makes me miss Japan, is what this does. I mean, that too. You gotta wash all those treats down. Glug, 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 glug. It doesn't taste like Pepsi at all. It tastes like a pineapple drink. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping you're gonna say it tastes like a Pepsi. I don't taste any pineapple. It's not bad. Oh. <laughs> what? It's true. <laughs> Brittany's kind of picky, so. I'm very picky, if you've noticed from I'm all I'm like of amazed. This. Like, that's very pineapple flavored. I don't taste the pineapple as much. Like, really? it's not very harsh. Like no. it's just, it's like a very light pineapple. I didn't say that it was like strong, but it's more pineapple than Pepsi. I'm wondering if it's, it's not like super carbonated either. So maybe that's, that's kind of throwing like off the whole thing. Like flattening it. A little bit. I, I do think it's pretty okay. Yeah. It's, it's definitely like, it's not Pepsi. It's, no. it's pineapple drink. It definitely tastes more pineapple. Yeah. But yeah. I, I think, I think it's okay to good. It depends on like the carbonation level. Yeah. Uh, but. I think the, the overall flavor profile is pretty tasty. I would say it's okay. Hmm. I mean, we have been we have been eating a lot of snacks, so I, it could just be me like trying to wash out all the different <laughs> candies in my mouth, and my mouth's like, yeah, what, sure, that, just the drink Aichi it. Choco Ball. <laughs> Well, that was it for the Anniversary Japan Crate, but we actually do have September's Kita Kita Crate here hey. as well, which is Japanese cosmetics, makeup products, things like that. That's cool. Looks good, huh? Pamphlet. Little pamphlet, of course. Mist lotion, moisturizing and conditioning. Uh, looks like it's Adley Face Mist. Naturally moisturizes your skin with this refreshing face mist. Contains Hatomugi extract, known for its powerful hydrating and smoothing properties. You just spray, I was don't spray, spray your face. Don't spray my face. <laughs> I feel moisturized. The parts oh, of too close. my face. It's so much stress. <laughs> Pretty cool to have something like a lotion that just kind of sprays on, so it's not really like greasy or anything yes. like that. So that's something to think about. Yeah, and it says it leaves skin clear, fresh, and smooth. So I guess once it dries, it should just be like. Does this look fine? Smooth to you? 
the part that like really sprayed right right here feels really soft now. Oh. Maybe we needed to give it a couple sprays. I know, I need to just huh. be like, sh 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 sh. next up we'll do this one. Huh. Um, a jelly? Moisture hand jelly. La France pears are a popular specialty in Japan in autumn. A moisture locking cream that won't leave stickiness on your skin. It smells kind of like aloe vera, right? Yes. yes. That's the smell of this. Let's it's see. kind of a like clean, refreshing rubs on. It smells like aloe. Okay. Hmm. It does not smell like pear. What's well, a different pear? <sighs> that smells good though. It does smell good. Oh. Man. Not that I'm super familiar with lotions, but that's definitely one of the better ones. It doesn't leave my skin all like oily. Yeah. Wow, that's super fun. That's kind of a big deal, I feel like. You don't really want a greasy feel yeah. when you're using stuff like this, huh? My hands feel like they're greasy, but they don't look greasy. My hands feel soft. You want some? No. I'm just, oh. I'm just gonna they feel rub. soft? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty soft. Next up, we got this little guy. Ooh, it's so small. It's like glitter. Oh, I guess Cosmetic that's... Cosmetic Malibu? Oh, it's a mystery makeup. So I guess each crate's got like some kind of mystery item. Fun! Hmm. I like mystery stuff. It's, it's like eyeshadow or something. Ah, that's super green. I mean, it'd be great for Halloween. I mean, Halloween it's is like coming up pretty soon. Sparkly green. Ooh. I'm not sure how uh, useful green eyeshadow kind of stuff is going to be on a regular basis. Yeah. But it's a fun splash of color if you're feeling feisty. Interesting. I mean, it's a bonus, right? Yeah. Even more in their Brit name. Yes, we have more. All right. Let's go with this because it's got Snoopy on it. Snoopy Snoops. Oh, that's really cute. Kose Refresh Wipes. On the go face sheets are your best friend on a hot or busy day. The wipes absorb oil and stickiness to refresh your skin and makeup. Oh. So you can you can even use it on top of your makeup by gently patting or you can cleanse your face by them by actually like rubbing a little harder on your skin. Very cute. cute. A little pack so and you can carry it around. Yeah, it looks like makeup remover wipes. Ooh. Yeah, they look you just have to watch because you don't want to. I don't think these are really meant to remove your makeup. So. <laughs> it's a refresh. So that way, if you feel kind of sweaty, a little greasy. Like you know, with this weather that we were having in SoCal, uh, yeah, I could it's use probably it be a like, good idea. Oh, it is nice that it's like wet, so it's like ah, yes, refreshing. Mm. You get this nice glow about you, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> this. What is that? Beauty Mendbo. Uh, Beauty Cotton Swab makes fixing your makeup that much easier. Each swab is pre-soaked in makeup cleansing solution, so you can easily touch up your makeup at any time. So. What? You were just talking about how those wipes seem like uh, remover wipes. Well, these are actually removers, but they're uh, they're like swabs. So that way you can like spot treat, I guess. I'm gonna assume, let's say like you get your uh, eyeliner and stuff and it smudges a little bit. You can clean up just a little bit. Oh, that's fancy Cute. looking. Cute. Oh wait, I have makeup right here. Oh, it actually is. Yeah, it's removing it pretty well. Oh, I could totally use that when doing eyeliner. That yeah. would be great. Oh, nope. Just a little too much. A little too thick. Gotta dial oh, it back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we all know how a, a cat eyes can be very thick. Don't want to go too heavy on that Wow, stuff. well yeah, now it's green so you can see all the high, the eyeshadow I had on. Again, not a makeup person, <laughs> but I gotta say, that's pretty neat. That's super cool. I, oh! Oh, it's so a rounded So one end. side is tip and then the other side is rounded. Hmm. Uh, I have been witness to uh, some days where it doesn't always go so well. Yes, it takes some, a little bit of tweaking. Some days it's great and just works, and then some <laughs> days, you know, they just don't want to match. At the very least, it's definitely a good idea. Wow, I love those. <laughs> Can I have 50 of those? I mean, there aren't 50, but there's still like nine left or something. <sighs> Last, but certainly not least, mm. bam. Oh, that is adorable. It's a cute little makeup bag for all the stuff oh, you just got. Nice. Yeah, it's my Melody theme because cute stuff right all I mean, about the cute stuff there at japan crate yeah uh, you can hold all those things that we just got and more yes very cute i've been needing a new bag yes you have actually <laughs> we were talking about it like a month or two ago yeah. we still haven't rectified that Ta -da! issue well that's nice to have yeah uh it looks like it's yeah it's got the little sanrio tag on there and yep. everything legit stuff very nice very cute i like it well that is it for our fifth anniversary japan crate and also september kita kita crate review and unboxing yeah Brittany, a lot of stuff here there's a lot of stuff a lot <laughs> of stuff so there's a lot of thoughts to give but overall very 
neat packages yeah. for sure. I always love Japan Crate. Yeah, I mean we've we've had it before, even before they were sending these to us for review, and we enjoyed them a yeah. lot. Yeah. And this one definitely had a lot of stuff. It yes. is the anniversary crate, so it's kind of to be expected. But definitely a lot of neat things. Uh, one of my favorites, the Kit Kat. The yeah, Kit Kat the was Kit Kat very was tasty. Good. Uh, I also like the uh, sour paper. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it was pretty good, yeah, even though like that even though you're not really a fan of the peach. I did not I did not like that. I liked it. Okay. For sure, I think this box is kind of up and down for me mm. a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my favorite would be the little roll cake. Mm. Yes, I that smelled great. I wish it was just slightly sweeter, but I think that's still my favorite. The uh, Kit Kats. I put them up there too. Yes. It's not fair, honestly. It should be like okay, the Kit Kats are good. We <laughs> yeah, know. It's Kit Kat, it's not Japanese fair. Japanese Kit Kats. I did not at all like Haichu Choco Ball. Yes, the okay. grape. The grape Haichu Choco <laughs> I'm Ball. I'm getting so confused. Not the Choco Ball Haichu. Grape. The Haichu Choco Grape ball. Haichu Choco, Choco Ball. I, I didn't have it, but your face kind of said everything there. My least favorite was probably that cider gummy from the beginning. Honestly, it, made, it just tasted kind of funny. Like a weird like mix of like soda and mint, and I didn't appreciate it. <laughs> I um, could tell by your face. I also didn't really care that much for the... It was kind of okay, and then it kind of got not okay. But the chocolate mint mochi was kind of uh, not my favorite. Yeah, I mean, I had just the tiniest bit of that, but yeah, all I tasted was mint. Honorable mention has to go to the uni, the sea urchin chips. Not for the taste, but the smell was definitely oh, off-putting yeah, yeah, yeah. when we opened it. As far there. as like least favorite. Yeah, that was not a... Everyone's gonna have different tastes. What did you guys like and not like from these crates? Go ahead and let us know in the comment section below. Unfortunately, we didn't really have a lot of time to go super in depth with some of them but overall we really enjoyed yeah and again if you do want to get a japan crate of your own go ahead and use our affiliate link in our video description it does help us out quite a bit and yeah they have a lot of different crates at japan crate but yeah that was a lot of fun and we hope you guys enjoyed it too thank you very much for watching guys we are the crane couple don't forget to like and comment let us know what you think about our latest japan crate and kira kira crate unboxing yes it's the september stuff uh, we got it a little later, unfortunately, due to some shipping issues, but it's still a good time. Yes. yes. And there's new stuff every month, so it's really cool to be able to see this stuff and get a little bit that of that taste of Japan again, since it's kind of expensive to go <laughs> to Japan. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We've got lots of other great videos for you guys from here in the United States, as well as Japan. Yes, we've gone to Japan three times, and we've enjoyed every single trip. Yep. While you're at it, make sure you turn on that bell. That way you get notifications for our channel because they usually upload three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays with live streams somewhere in between, okay? Also go ahead and follow us on Instagram at The Crane Couple. We post up a lot of fun stuff over there. Finally, a huge thanks to all of our wonderful patrons on Patreon as well as our new channel members. You guys are awesome. Thank you for helping keep us full-time internet content creators. If you guys want to pledge your support to us, check us out at patreon.com slash the crane couple or go ahead and click that join button that you see a little down the screen right there. You can become a channel member right there. You get access to cool emojis and things like that. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.